Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of five new products, newly released products that are totally worth the hype. Um, if you are new here, this is a series that I do on my channel every single month and it's hopefully... Basically, the purpose is to help you navigate all of the new makeup releases, literally. And I mean, you guys probably feel exactly the same way that I do. I feel like there's something new released every single day. Um, these are all brand new products that have been released, that have been launched, that are genuinely worth the hype, genuinely worth your money, genuinely worth your time. Um, and if they're things that you are interested in checking out, um, they've got my seal of approval. So if you're interested in watching that, then please stick around. Oh, we got some skincare in this one, which makes me so excited. Oh! Oh, you guys know how much I love skincare. Like, I'm just skincare addict over here. Okay. <laughs> so, Dermalogica released some new products, and you guys know how I feel about Dermalogica. We're like a match made in heaven. We should get married, literally. <laughs> so they've launched a brand new active clearing range. And basically these are products that are targeted towards people who suffer with, you know, acne, breakouts and things like that. But it's also an anti-aging line. Um, and I just think the concept is fantastic because usually we only get like spot clearing sort of treatment lines and then we get anti-aging treatment lines and you've got to keep the two separate. You don't often see the two combine into one. And I love that because it means you can have, you know, like you can treat your breakouts and your pimples and stuff but then you can also target like premature anti-aging. Like I just think it's so cool. It means you can only buy one serum instead of two basically. <laughs> um, so this here is their new age bright clearing serum. And I have been absolutely obsessed with this. Um, this is a serum to be used on the skin before going in with your moisturizer, obviously after cleansing your skin. And what this does is it actively fights your breakouts, actively fights spots, and it also brightens the skin. It really, really deeply hydrates and it also combats, you know, signs of premature aging. Like it's just brilliant. It smells really, really nice and fresh. Um, I don't find it oh I, like I really do love the smell of this I don't find it harsh on the skin I don't find it uncomfortable or irritating or anything like that and the one thing for me and like it's definitely effective I've been using it for about three weeks now um, and I've certainly noticed really really good results in my skin I mean my skin's been out of control lately like it's a whole other story um but I feel like my skin's been much 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 clearer since using this um but the one thing for me that makes this an absolute winner in my books is it doesn't leave a nasty sticky texture on my skin so it's perfectly safe for wearing underneath makeup. I cannot stand skincare that just makes my foundation feel horrible, that makes my foundation feel heavy. You guys have heard me talk about this so many times. Super lightweight, it completely absorbs into the skin um, and it's just a brilliant product. And like I said, how good that you can get like a two-in-one, like acne and anti-aging all in one, I'm on board. Now I know you guys are going to ask what's in it, so I'm just on their website now. Okay, salicylic acid, um, beta hydroxy acid for reducing the breakouts and clearing the skin. We've got an age bright complex, which works with the skin's natural microbiome for clearer, brighter skin. Um, we've got phytoactives from resurrection plant. Um, that's to help with dehydration, hydration, and smoothing the skin. It's also got niacinamide in it and also white shiitake mushroom to promote brighter, more even, more clarified skin. Um, like, like I said, I love it. The packaging's beautiful, the product's beautiful, and it doesn't leave a sticky residue. Big thumbs up from me. Ooh, next up we've got another product that goes underneath makeup actually, and it's not often. I mean, I feel like it's not often that I find an eyeshadow primer that I actually really, really love, really enjoy, really, really recommend. You guys know me and the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot, like it's pretty much been my, yeah, it's pretty much been the only eye primer that I've used for a very long time over the years. It's really the only one that I consistently recommend. I consistently, like I feel like I always go back to it, but this here, yeah, this is good. So this is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills. They've just called it their eye primer. This stuff is absolutely glorious. I love that it comes in a squeeze tube and on the end you do get like a little squeezy nozzle. I'll just show you a little swatch. This stuff is so good. Kind of reminds me of um, perhaps a consistency once it's blended out um, to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, like a really, really thin textured product, but still with heaps and heaps of coverage. So this is what it looks like when it's blended out. It is quite a light color. Um, curious to know if they're going to be releasing this in new shades. Well, not new shades, but more shades. I do think it would be good to see it in more shades. But it is a really, really lightweight eye primer. It completely covers the lids. So it covers up, you know, darkness. It covers up capillaries on the lids. And it preps the surface so, 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 so well. It makes the whole eye area, like the whole eyelid, so smooth and so easy to blend on. It dries down to a completely matte finish as well. I'm pretty you sure it's waterproof let me where is it water resistant it's water resistant um it just it's such a nice eye primer so lightweight it stops creasing it helps with blending it stops your eyeshadows from you know how sometimes when you blend your eyeshadow out and you're like 
where to go. Like it keeps them really nice and vibrant. Um, it's just a really, really, really good eye primer. Oh, actually, you know what? Probably the P. Louise. You know the P. Louise makeup base that everyone talks about? Um, I do find this one quite similar to that one. Um, it's honestly brilliant. And if you're looking for something to like cut the crease with and things like that, it's good. I'm going to have a hard time getting this off truly. And that's what I want from my eyeshadows. Like I don't want to have to worry about them running away during the day. If I put you on, you need to stay there. All right, next up I've got a mascara and I'm actually not sure. It only just arrived. So perhaps it's a new release here in Australia, but I'm not sure if it's actually like a, a brand new release um, for you guys, depending on where you are in the world. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And my goodness. So this mascara is literally a couple of dollars. It is so good. It is so freakishly good. Firstly, completely smudge proof, like will not smudge during the day underneath your eyes, on top of your eyes, around your eyes, in your eyes, all of it <laughs> will not smudge, which I absolutely love. You guys know I have a huge, huge, huge problem, huge issue with um, mascaras transferring underneath my eyes and on top. It's an oily skin thing. Um, and also because I've got like semi um, hooded lids, like it's it's a thing. But honestly, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It makes my lashes so long. Brandon actually said yesterday and he literally never comments on my, like unless I've got falsies on, hello. He never, ever, ever comments on my natural lashes. And he was like, what mascara are you wearing? Your lashes look so long. Like, have they grown? Because again, and I feel like I've told you guys this so many times, my lashes are literally straight. They're short. They're just, I've just not been blessed with natural lashes. I truly have not. Um, and he was like, what mascara are you wearing? Like your lashes look really, really long. And I was like, oh, why thank you. <laughs> and it was this one here. So yeah, the, the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I love the brush. It's got a really nice, neat, tight little bristle brush. It's very easy to get into the lower lashes and into the inner corners of your eyes without smudging it and making a huge mess. The formula is amazing. It gives me volume. It gives me length. It doesn't transfer. It lasts all day. It doesn't flake off. Like, I'm just like so impressed. Like, it's literally a couple of dollars, this mascara, a couple of dollars. Um, and it arrived in the mail randomly um, with a bunch of other essence like new releases. So I'm assuming it's, you know, recently released here in Australia. It is so good. Like, lit, like if you want a new mascara and you want one that'll actually do the job and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, definitely, definitely check us out. It's amazing. All right, next up, I've got a hair mask. Um, and like, I adore pretty much everything from Frank Body. Um, all of their products are so gorgeous. The lip scrubs, the face scrubs, the body scrubs, and um, their lip balms. Like, they've got tinted lip balms that are absolutely like, out of this world but this new hair mask is on another level i actually think this might be the first time they've done like hair products specifically so this is their go longer hair mask it comes in like a little squeezy tube the packaging is really really nice um it's got a bunch of stuff in it um a whole bunch of different oils we've got grapeseed oil soybean oil uh eucalyptus oil coffee seed oil there's so much um, rosemary, rosemary leaf oil, I think cinnamon oil. There's so much amazing stuff in here and it makes your hair softer. Like, how do I even describe how soft, like, like just the silkiest, smoothest, shiniest, healthy looking hair ever. Um, basically, it's designed for a couple of things. It repairs um, already damaged hair. It stimulates hair growth. But um, like I try so many hair masks and I'm probably it's fair to say that I'm quite finicky because a lot of hair masks and being that I've got so much hair, a lot of hair masks leave my hair feeling really heavy. It's just not that clean, nearly like I need to shampoo it again. Like it's just, I don't know, it feels icky and I'm like, oh, like I, I'm obsessed with that, you know, freshly clean hair kind of a feel. Um, and this is a hair mask that I can use and I'm, I'm not going to lie. I have low key replaced my daily conditioner with this. Yeah, I'm that girl. I'm that girl. Um, it just leaves my hair so well conditioned, so hydrated, so smooth, so shiny. It smells absolutely amazing. It's got this incredible like mint smell. Oh, and it lasts on your hair all day. I'm like, you know, when you swish your hair around, you're like, yes, smells so good. Um, totally get that effect from this. They did do like a, they did do a scalp scrub as well. I'm actually haven't tested that yet. That's probably just as amazing. But yeah, a really, really good quality hair mask that's not going to leave your hair greasy, not weigh it down, and it's actually like really super effective. Um, even the first time that I used this, I was like, damn, is that my hair? It looked good. <laughs> and then lastly for today's video, I have a new product from Revlon. Now this is their Glow Lip Oil. Um, they've released 
I, I feel like it's part of a new limited edition collection. Um, and this is the shade Pretty Wicked and no one's going to be surprised. It's a beautiful nude. But this is such a nice, it's nearly like a hybrid product. It's a gloss and it's a lip tint, but it's also a lip oil. It just feels absolutely incredible on the lips. Packaging as well is absolutely stunning. Like it's a really, really pretty looking product and it feels good. It feels like really good quality. So this is what the actual little doe foot applicator looks like. It's a really, really nice little doe foot applicator. Smells like, oh, it's like caramel or coffee or something. Oh, I think I nearly put it on my nose then. <laughs> um, caramel or coffee or just something really, really amazing. And honestly, when I say it feels gorgeous on the lips, it feels gorgeous on the lips. It's not sticky. It's not heavy. It doesn't cause those funny little stringy bits. It doesn't taste funny. It just feels so hydrating like a lip oil, but it wears like a lip gloss. I'm not sure if this is going to be making any sense. And this one's such a beautiful color. Like it's such a soft sheen, such a soft light kind of a tint. Um, looks beautiful and natural. Hang on, I'll show you the swatch closer up. Hopefully you can see that one there. It's just there. So beautiful and lightweight though. So comfortable. And it genuinely like a lot of glosses that I found in the past, um, I don't know, wearing lip gloss all day, it kind of just ends up, like by the time nighttime comes around and I'm ready to remove my makeup, my lips feel drier. Like, I don't know, some some lip glosses, they just, it's like they suck the moisture out of your lips. This one, it's like a lip treatment and a lip oil and a gloss. And it's beautiful color all in one. Like, I just, just an awesome product. Well done, Revlon. Um, they do come in more shades and I feel like I need to collect them all because they're just beautiful. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. Well, there you have it, guys. That brings us to the end of today's video. So five new products that, in my opinion, are totally worth, you know, the money, the hype. Um, and like, they've just got my seal of approval. They're brilliant products, great quality, definitely worth every cent, in my opinion. Um, if you've used these products, as always, please let me know your thoughts on them, your experiences on them in the comment section down below and also what products you might have tested recently that you're loving that I need to try um there's so many new releases I'm just like oh how can I handle this <laughs> but yes give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it make sure to subscribe if you are new here and I will catch you all in my next video